name is Lex Schaefer, and we're here for another episode of the Coach's Shows here inside the Waco Center. And once again, I have Dwayne Chapman here with me. How you doing, buddy? It's great to see you again, Coach, especially after an successful event in War of the Waco 7. War of the Waco 7 might have been the biggest one yet. Um, the, the stands were packed, the tables were packed, the fights were great. Um, what an evening. What an evening. What an atmosphere for a main event. Oh, especially there that last night with, you know, Aaron, I mean, the whole crowd really got into it. Yeah, Will Lopez coming from Morgantown and the Mountaineer Boxing Academy ready to fight. And I mean, that was a war. Absolutely phenomenal. Uh, good friends with the coaches. Uh, it was just an unbelievable battle uh, back and forth uh, to the very end. It was a great, great success. Even they talked about the atmosphere for the main event. We just kept building all night long, all night long until the last four or five fights. And it just, they were all great fights. I think the whole card, I mean, from one to sixteen, or great fights. And what about you announcing? How'd you like going pay per view live? <laughs> you and Trey Sprague did a great job. Uh, play yeah, we by were, play, uh, we Trey. Throw it down the pipe. Throw it down the pipe. It's great. No, we definitely were uh, a little nervous. So. <laughs> um, I think definitely as we we went, we kind of got to settle in. But it's definitely. I heard nothing but good good uh, comments on the on the uh, announcing. It was pretty good. I'm glad y'all did that. And we're definitely hoping we can do it again next year. So. We will continue to do it's our first pay per view. Um, it's helped us raise money. Of course, you know this event we raise money and, and uh, support breast cancer research and things. And we'll write a check as soon as all the monies are, are in and tallied up. Then we write a check for them. And pay per view is going to be a big part of that. It's the first time we've ever did it. Uh, it was ten dollars at the gate, so it was a ten dollar pay per view. There was no reason to raise the price on that. I'm very successful. I think we had over 500 buys, something like that, and it's still continuing. Uh, it won't be released uh, on our YouTube channel until probably the first of the year, something like that. So if it, you're still interested in watching, you can still go get the pay-per-view and watch War in the Waco 7. And it's very easy to access it still. Uh, the same way you'd access the stream on on Fight Night and other sports. You know, if you just go to you know, Mountain East TV and you go to the Glenville section, you know, it's right there. You create your account to you know, make your you know, make your payment, and you have access to it. And from the first fight, Louisville State, uh, uh, we were right in that. Alex did a heck of a job finding a, a tough opponent that's been a lot of tough mans and things. He fought all the way down, and then cleared through the very end with Aaron. And in between, we had Pierre, uh, which was a, a great match, a very close match, and uh, Peyton getting his first win. So it was really good for Louisville State. But what makes me happy is a lot of that card. Obviously, had some open fights and some more uh, advanced boxers, but we had a lot of debut boxing that took place, even for us. Peyton never boxed, his opponent never boxed, so we were able to bring people that couldn't get matched up to have their first boxing match. And they were great because nobody wants to lose their first match. So, you know, the hands were let go, and it was great boxing. No, I definitely agree with you there. I think every debut fight we had was, was really good. I mean, well, we had some older guys there. I mean, in the heavyweight division, um, to what gyms they came from, but I mean, that was a heck of a fight. Well, we had Iron Tiger, uh, who brought down a lot, uh, and I was happy to see them. The Warriors gym, uh, they come down, and, and these were new gyms that hadn't been able to fight, and I was able to get the matches. You know, we had uh, you know, she come up from North Carolina. They come clear from Charlotte to be on the show. Uh, Cleveland, uh, I had to work the – the strong arm gym, so that was pretty wild. The last four fights, I was back to back to back to back, which was interesting. But those were fine young men to work with. Uh, Brian always has a great group of boxers, so it was fun though. Yeah, I, I, as we reiterate once again, I mean, truly, all 16 fights were great. Yeah, now we're set, we're back on the road. We were scheduled to fight this weekend, but an opponent hurt his hand, so that's got pulled. We're looking to be in Portsmouth on November the 12th with some uh, three of the boxers, and then on November the 19th with Aaron up in Cleveland uh, at that show. And then in the spring, we're going to do tournaments. We're going to yeah. do the Gary Terry tournament. We're going to look at the ICBA tournament, maybe the NCAA tournament. We're going to look at uh, Golden Gloves. So we're looking at nothing but tournaments in the spring. So it'll be a lot of travel and a lot of bouts. I'm excited. I'm excited. You definitely have to. I mean, I mean, he doesn't love tournaments. I mean, it's, it's what makes sports great. That's right. Yeah, you know, at the end of the day. And plus, too, I mean, it's another way to grow your program, show that, hey, we're here. Yeah, it helps us in recruitment. I mean, I'm talking to some recruits now. I've got one coming in the 29th. Uh, uh, Richard, he'll be here from 
D.C. area. I've got a young man down in Parkersburg area that's looking to come. So we're we're starting to reach out and look at some of them from heavyweights to to lightweights. So the program's building, and the Warden of Waco, you know, we're looking. We'd like to do a show in the spring, but it's so hard to schedule it out with everything that goes on here on campus. Uh, it might be in our best interest right now to focus on these tournaments and, and build that for the future. No, I, de I definitely understand that. You know, as a SID, that uh, change to winter to spring sports is definitely crazy. Yes, so it you is. got yes, it baseball is. starting up and softball starting up, and they always play double headers. You still got basketball season going on, and then on top of that, you got acro still going on, boxing. It's busy so. here on, on campus. Busy. Playing wrestling now as well with yeah with that program. So, but because Shannon. It's always a pleasure having you on. Good deal.